So here comes another fantastic lineup in the women's quad. And the start list, lane one, Australia, lane two, China, lane three, Great Britain, lane four, Netherlands, lane five, Switzerland, and lane six, Romania. There's the Australians, Rena Meredith, Kathleen Cronin, Harriet Hudson in the three seat, Catherine Rowan at stroke seat from Sydney University Boat Club. The Olympic champions, Chen Yu Cha, Xiong Ling, Liu Yang, and Shui Shao Tong from the formerly from the Shenyang Sports School. This fast British boat with their hands up. I don't know what uh, Hannah Scott has got a hand up. Lauren Henry, the trials winner. Lola Anderson in the three seat. Georgie Brayshaw in the stroke seat. They've got a little fishing net. There's something in the water, isn't there? They've asked that fishing net. They're just fishing it out. Now Rose, the Dutch are a bit nervous about it. Yeah, Rose de Jong pointing across the Dutch bow woman. Tessa Dillemans, Lila Yousafu in the three seat. Greg Sell gave her a thumbs up at breakfast this morning. See, and uh, Benta Paulis in the stroke seat. The Swiss had a great regatta. Fabian Schweitzer, Lisa Lodger, Pascal Walker, Celia Dupre in the stroke seat, coached by Nick Lloyd. And in lane six, Emanuela Iona Tiatau, Andrea Maria Morisanu, Christina Druga, and Patricia Cires in the stroke seat for Romania. Looks like the British are happy now. Yeah, looks like they're happy across the lanes. Just a little disturbance there to collect whatever's in the water to get near perfect conditions. And it does look like very good conditions. We were a little concerned about the lanes, but we can see we've been Australia. seeing fast crews right across the field. China. Great, great racing so far. Great Hard Britain. to predict what's going to come. The Netherlands. Switzerland. Romania. Attention. Quick start there from China in lane two. They have been the dominant crew for so long. The first Chinese crew to win at Henley Regatta. Are they back on form? They looked a little bit better this regatta than they have during the World Cups, but I think they're going to have a really tough race here. The Dutch, for me, are absolutely the informed crew. Yeah, the crew from the Netherlands looked fantastic in their semi-final where they beat China, put China over there on lane two. So, yeah, the Netherlands have looked pretty good. Great Britain won the other semi-final. They find themselves sandwiched between the Lucerne winners, the Netherlands, and the world champions from the previous year, China, on the far side. Well, Britain will move through, I think, in the second part of this 500, but they caught, got caught napping in the first 15 strokes there, I thought. Well, they've eased their way off the start, haven't they? They might pay for that later. Let's see as we take a look. This Swiss crew sculling very smoothly here. Swiss at 41 strokes a minute, one of the highest ratings still in the pack. As the bow of the Dutch, that orange bow hits the lead. They're going to be the crew that everyone's trying to catch. But a great start here for the Australians over on lane one. They are the Olympic bronze medalists with bow two and three. Rowena, Caitlin and Harriet winning the bronze medal in Tokyo. So certainly looking to find the form that took them to the podium at the Olympic Games. Yeah, this Dutch quad does look fantastic, don't they? And uh, moving easily out. Well, we're looking along for the quad there from Great Britain. They've put together their strongest combination, we think, and they've been right in amongst it. They were slightly slow off the start, but they pretty much tracked the moves of the crews around them as the Netherlands just start to ease out, China going with them. I think those were our race leaders, the Netherlands, China, and Great Britain. I think China are sculling better than I've seen them in the semi-final. I agree, Martin. I think they've gotten better and better through this regatta. They looked shaky, as I said, through the World Cup series. That was such a dominant vote uh, for so long. But they really started to so show some chinks in their armour, which has let this Dutch boat come in and, and I think, see themselves and us see them as race favourites. Well, I'm just wondering if we might have anything different kind of race than what we've seen before with these Netherlands crews. We're seeing this quad up here. They're at 39 strokes a minute. They've really sort of got the hammer down. As it was, the British were a little bit slow off. The British are only at 35 strokes a minute and are fairly well tracking them. As it is, the Dutch are going to want to move away, but the British are just nagging and not going away right now. Yeah, great move by the British. Uh, they were conservative, admittedly, in that first part of the race. 
But, uh, you know, they've had a go at the Chinese last year in the World Championships in 2022. Didn't come off for them. Why not have a go to win the gold medal this year? The Dutch out in front, but Britain edging ever closer. Look at the Dutch, 38 strokes per minute, just really pumping these legs down. Their bodies don't move, their heads don't move. It just looks so methodical, so clinical what they're doing. Well, this Swiss crew picked, picked up the bronze medal back in Lucerne, but it's a big challenge for them to get into the medals, as we're seeing here coming through halfway. Great Britain have moved back on the Netherlands, who took that lead off them. And it's shaping up to be a very big second thousand now. Sorry, Sarah, go on. I was it. just going to say, it's been a great second 500 from the British. Look at them challenging the Dutch here. I didn't expect them to see uh, to see them at this close at this stage. In fact, our graphic is telling us that they're level. How about that? Underrating and yet coming through into the gold medal position, the British four. It doesn't look quite like it on our picture, but nevertheless, Britain certainly putting some pressure on this favoured Netherlands crew. Then to Palace there, the stroke woman of the Netherlands crew, younger sister of Ilsa, who won the Olympic gold medal in Rio in the lightweight women's double skulls. Leila Yusufu from the Delft Club. There she is. Oh no, that's so uh, Rose the de Young in the Rose de Young, Tessa looking really clean. Lally Safford, there she is, the Delft Oars woman. So I think Netherlands have looked to respond here to the British. I'm not quite sure those graphics are absolutely accurate. We'll have to get another picture. I think it shows how this event has moved on with the Olympic champions back in the field in third place and the British and the Dutch crews going toe to toe out in front. Yeah, will the Dutch have a response here? The Brits managed to get their bow in front, but they're really just going bow ball for bow ball here and pushing out on the rest of the field. The Chinese being relegated back to the third position. They've got a bit of a gap to fourth and fifth place behind them, who I think are going to struggle to challenge for the medals. Wow, well, well, I wonder how it feels in those two boats. They are bow ball to bow ball. The British look like they may be just slightly in front. I don't think it's two metres, but there we saw them working their way through the crew from the Netherlands and I think it's just going on the surge backwards and forwards right now. The Netherlands have got that nice rhythm. They're coached by Frick Robbers who also coached the Dutch women's four to gold. Here's his quad. But the Netherlands are, have been high in the rate the whole way. They're at 40 strokes a minute. Great Britain are at 37. If Great Britain have some flexibility, if they're able to sprint, they may yet be able to get that bow in front and go for the gold medal. Look on the grit of the faces of the Swiss bow woman there, Fabienne Schweitzer. She looks across Great Britain and the Netherlands. We can't separate them. Both crews going flat out, and you just can't tell who's going to take gold in this race. Yeah, there's a fight going on for gold and silver at the front. There's also a fight going on for bronze. The Chinese currently in bronze medal position. But can the Swiss, who are fourth for the 1500, or the Aussies, who are fifth, get themselves up to challenge? Well, how about this? This is what it's all about. Bad ball to bad ball, side by side. Great Britain alongside Netherlands. Great Britain desperately looking for somewhere to go, whether they can use rate to pull that bow up in front of the Netherlands. China are beside them. China are definitely not going to be challenging for gold. It's Great Britain now who have got that bow in front. And Andrew Randell, the Australian coach of the British, looking on and his crew hit the front. They just have a few metres to go. Britain's bow. They're going to take gold medal. It is Henry Scott Anderson and Brayshaw who win the gold medal from the Netherlands. What a sensational result. The Chinese Olympic champions back in bronze medal position. Switzerland in fourth, Australia in fifth. Romania will finish sixth. But that was an amazing race, the race of the day, I'd say. Well, it was a fantastic race from the British. They were that little bit slower off. They were that little bit calmer, but it's a long race. It's not a great big tailwind. They got into their rhythm and they underrated the crew from the Netherlands. And by doing that, they were just able to ease their way along. And it was the opposite of some of the races we've seen earlier where the Netherlands got into their pace and came back on the others. Yeah, wow. I don't know that I expected to see the Dutch be beaten in this race. They were my pick for the race. The Chinese, though, getting themselves back into medal contention back onto the podium. Well, what a wonderful skull from this British quad. 
They did so well in that middle thousand just to hang on to the Dutch, and the Dutch must have been working really hard to try and see them off. But Britain stayed in, and they stayed in. They seem to always be just a, like a few centimetres behind. We see them through the thousand. It's, it's about 30 centimetres. Netherlands always seemed to be just in front until it came to the all-important last 250. Yeah, bow ball to bow ball, the British prevailing by just a deck or a canvas. And the British have won a gold medal in women's quads, finally. Well, we've got one more race to go today, but it's been a great day so far for the British and the Dutch teams. Yeah. Yeah, confirmation of their result. Great Britain winning the women's quad ahead of the Netherlands and the People's Republic of China. Great Britain! <laughs> Great Britain, represented by David Kubrick and the Super Lauren Henry. Anna Scott.